people seem to be having a lot of trouble getting along with each other. I mean, couples. Both of you seem very, very close. What's your secret? It's called love. <laughs> you know, and there's nothing to split that up. You know? I mean, you've got to work on it. Like, uh, it is a precious gift, and it's a plant, and you've got to look after it and water it, and you can't just sit in your backside and think, oh, well, we're in love, so that's all right, you know. Mm. But uh, that's the secret, you know. It's all true, folks. All you need is love. Mm -hmm. I can't give you the, the formula for meeting the person you're going to love, mm. but uh, it's around, you know, and it happens. I mean, it happened to me at 29, and... Your God, probably <laughs> too. And uh, it's a long wait, you know. Mm. I didn't think it was, uh, I thought it was an abstract thing, you know. When I was singing about all you need is love, I was talking about something I hadn't experienced. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd experienced, you know, love for people in gusts and love for things and trees and things like that, but I hadn't experienced what I was singing about. It's like anything, you sing, sing about it first or write about it first and find out what you were talking about after. Well, I never thought that it would happen in this uh, late stage of my life. Or whatever. But I mean, it's just sort of, I was starting to give up hope, you know, that kind of thing, you know, becoming very cynical and all that. But it happened and it's very, very, very good. You know? Love is real. It's no good having being with people you can dominate all the time or being with someone you can dominate you all the time because either one is boring. But if you're with somebody who's got a tick in mind, which was the best part of being with the Beatles when they were ticking, was they were ticking, you know. But uh, they began to slow down. We certainly but, don't uh, uh, bore With Yoko, each other. it's like living with four or five people. <laughs> This, nice. You know, it's it's far out, but uh, it? well, four of us are getting along very well these days, aren't we? You know, <laughs> something like that. That'll do. That mm. you know, I'll have us put away. <laughs> marriage seem, itself, I mean, as, a, as an official ceremony, seems to have somewhat gone out of style. How come you decided to go through with a regular marriage? Because we, we turned out to be romantic, you see. I mean, we went through all the whole intellectual bit about, you know, marriage, you know, when it's a bit of paper and some guy gives it you, and that's all true. But when he gave it to us, it was very emotional, you know, and it, was, it wasn't even a, we couldn't even get a nice vicar or a bishop, you know, <laughs> to do it. Mm. I mean, it's Still completely it. against what we thought, what I thought intellectually. I thought, well, mm. it's never again, you know, if I get out of this, man, mm. you know, what a joke, you know, what a joke it all mm. is. And the next minute I'm standing there and she's crying, you know, mm. and it's like we're soft kids, you know, mm. so we're romantic and it made a difference. Can there be such a thing as being too close? Can that actually, because in your case, it doesn't seem that like way. Like stifling seems, each other. Then. Well, see, we're both mind people, you know. Yeah. So uh, to be apart, we don't have to physically be apart, you know. Mm. Mm, exactly. I, that you have to say that. I've just said it. <laughs> oh, I mean, all right. <laughs> I thought. I just said it. Was ding dong, ding dong. Oh. <laughs> right, but the point is, uh, this is uh, sort of, you know, interesting. Well, they're all example. brought up to think that uh, you mustn't give a child too much love. Couple mustn't be together too much. Also husband, it's muscles. good for the husband to be working in America while the wife's in Brazil. Yeah. You know, we don't believe all that jazz. That's just mm. some social Christian jazz that somebody must have laid on us a few generations ago. And you can't give a child too much love. Mm. And if you love somebody, you can't be with them enough. Mm. There's no such thing. We don't want to be apart. I have a horror that one day I'm going to have seen every movie in America and I'll have to go to some other country. <laughs> <laughs> I just like TV, you know. I think, uh, it, to me, it replaced the fireplace when I was a child. One, you know, they took the fire away and they put a TV in instead and I got hooked on it. And You can see TV on many levels, actually, you know, many different levels. I was levels. a great one as a kid for standing and just looking out of windows for hours and hours and hours. Now, the TV does that for me, except for the view changes immensely. One minute it's the saint, next minute it's a rocket, you know, Vietnam and 
It's very surreal. I, I leave it on whether I have the sound on or not, you know. We don't have to go to India anymore, you know. You don't have to go anywhere, you can it's just like be Paul here. It's like Paul said, all I ask in life is a water bed, a TV and a typewriter. <laughs> well, I'll just have an ordinary bed, a TV and a guitar, and it, you know, apart from Yoko. Love is you. You will.